Good morning. I'd just like to take a moment to welcome anybody who may be visiting today or trying on a new church family. It's a real blessing to have you here with us this morning and enjoying worship with us. Just so you know, we offer coffee downstairs, also known as our second hour of worship, and we'd love to have you join us downstairs. Just a small note, um, right now as we speak, the Rotary Club of Harrow is hosting a pancake breakfast, but you're all here now, so you have to stay. But after service, you could join. It's at the KSC. It's going on till noon, so if anybody was interested after church. Um, we have a few announcements. Just to let you know, uh, a little over a week ago, um, Ann Finley had fallen, and it took them a while to realize that she had fractured her hip and broken a collarbone. So she was taken to Chatham Hospital, where finally Friday at about quarter to six, I received notice that she was finally in surgery. I have not heard an update since then, so I'm hoping no news is good news. Did she? Okay. Okay, so everything, she's fine and comfortable, so everything did go well. Um, and another message I have received was we all knew that Eric Colnett was awaiting his surgery. He was supposed to have it Tuesday. Um, finally got in Thursday morning at 6 a.m. And in the afternoon, I had um, info from Nancy that um, she saw Eric, had talked to the doctor, and everything went well. Also at 11 a.m. on Thursday morning, they were blessed with a grandson, Evan Timothy Colnett, so her heart was overflowing. The news this morning I received is Eric is making great strides in his recovery up and walking around, hopefully home on Tuesday. Baby Evan doing well and probably coming home the same day. <laughs> so they wanted to, many thanks for everyone putting them in their prayers and they are feeling so, so blessed. I was also said, if you wish to send a card to Ann Finley, if you send it to Dave and Cheryl, so find their address, they will make sure that the, any cards will get to Anne. Uh, one more thing. Uh, this is the last Sunday in March. So this coffee hour, the second hour of worship, this week will be conducted by Finance Committee. Next week is Outreach Committee. Outreach Committee has a member of one. And Ken said he would do coffee next week, but he forgets how to do it. So Ken would like some assistance, so if you could talk to Ken Derbyshire, he would be grateful to receive any and all assistance for next week. So that's April 1st, so I was going to say there's no coffee next week, April Fool's, but it's not April Fool's yet. So if you want coffee next week, please help Ken. And the weeks after, one Sunday has been spoken for and has been signed in on the sheet on the back bulletin board. So if you wish to have second hours of worship through April, then I suggest, you know, if you can find a team, if you want to host a Sunday, it will be gratefully appreciated. Thank you very much. Out it up here. Um, I would just like to take a moment to introduce you to our speaker for this morning, Linda Blair. Uh, actually, her and her husband, John, have been visiting with us for the last few weeks, so she may look a little familiar to you. She's also going to be uh, uh, helping with us for seven Sundays, I believe, so a couple of Sundays a month. So we really appreciate her help in that regard. Uh, Linda comes to us after many years of service uh, in ministry. She's a designated lay leader. Is that correct? I don't want to get it wrong. Uh, and she, she comes to us last, her last post was in Bethel Maidstone. So we really appreciate her being here with us and we hope we, uh, or we will definitely enjoy her message. So thank you, Belinda, for coming and welcome John. If there are no other announcements, let us prepare for worship. <laughs> 